Aside from just getting stronger, more muscular, and looking leaner, maintaining healthy testosterone levels will benefit your heart, your bones, your mood, and even your verbal memory and reasoning skills. This is because testosterone is the primary male sex hormone. It's also known as an androgen, which is a steroid hormone that promotes the development of masculine characteristics and traits. To better understand exactly what testosterone does inside of your body, we'll first have to take a look at how it's made. And the process of creating testosterone actually starts in the hypothalamus, which is the part of your brain that you can view as the master regulator of your hormones. The hypothalamus releases gonadotropin-releasing hormone, also known as GNRH, which stimulates the pituitary gland to release luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone. Both of these hormones are very important for male hormonal and sexual health, although each are important for their own reasons. For example, luteinizing hormone is very important because it stimulates something within your testes known as a steroidogenic acute regulatory protein. This starts the conversion of cholesterol to steroids, more specifically androgens. So in case you're confused, the answer is yes, testosterone is made out of cholesterol. That's one reason research indicates diets low in cholesterol are terrible for your testosterone levels. They literally crush your testosterone. For example, a study found a direct correlation between cholesterol intake and testosterone levels. The more cholesterol people ate, the higher their testosterone went. Now, follicle-stimulating hormone is less important for hormone production than luteinizing hormone, but it's still crucial from a reproductive perspective because it stimulates your body to produce sperm. In an average healthy male, the testes produce around 4 to 9 milligrams of testosterone per day. This testosterone production is controlled by a negative feedback loop. This negative feedback loop measures androgen and estrogen levels in the body. That's done to make sure your hormone levels stay within a certain range. When your body senses testosterone levels have reached the upper range, the hypothalamus stops stimulating the pituitary gland to release luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone because they're no longer needed for more testosterone and sperm production. But in a normal scenario, when the lower end of that range is reached, your body will release more luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone to increase the production of testosterone and sperm production as well. Unfortunately, if for whatever reason this process is impaired, you can suffer from low testosterone. Things that may cause that to happen include poor health, poor nutritional status, or a gonadal disorder. It's also important to realize that not all testosterone that your body makes actually impacts your body in the way testosterone is supposed to impact your body. A big reason for this is that a part of your testosterone gets converted into estrogen on a daily basis. And as most of you already know, estrogen is the primary female sex hormone that is also, of course, present in men in more limited quantities. Testosterone is converted into estrogen primarily through the aromatization process. And don't get me wrong, this process isn't inherently bad. In fact, estrogen is vital for regulating your libido, erectile function, and the development of your sperm cells. It only becomes an issue if too much of your testosterone gets converted into estrogen. Bodybuilders that abuse steroids routinely run into this issue where they jack up their testosterone and then a percentage of that testosterone gets converted into estrogen and they end up with issues like gynecomastia. That's one reason why bodybuilders often take anti-aromatase pharmaceuticals like Arimidex. Arimidex helps prevent so much testosterone from turning into estrogen, helping keep their testosterone levels high while maintaining more normal levels of estrogen. It's also important to note that this aromatization process primarily takes place within body fat, which is why overweight and obese people tend to have higher estrogen levels and lower testosterone levels. Now, aside from being converted into estrogen, about 10% of the testosterone in your body gets converted by an enzyme known as 5-alpha reductase into dihydrotestosterone, also known as DHT. While testosterone is known for its anabolic muscle building effects, DHT is more androgenic, which means that it has more of an impact on things like beard growth, body hair growth, Adam's apple size, and the pitch of your voice. It's estimated that DHT has about three to six times more powerful androgenic effects in the body than testosterone does. However, in terms of aiding muscle growth, DHT is surprisingly much less effective than testosterone. Aside from the positives of DHT, one downside of having high levels of this hormone circulating throughout your body is that it increases the likelihood that you'll experience hair loss, and it most likely also increases the risk of prostate cancer. But just to bring us back onto the same page, at this point, 
the body has produced testosterone from cholesterol and a percentage of that testosterone has been converted into estrogen and DHT. The testosterone that's left over will now start to travel around your bloodstream. Some of this testosterone remains bioavailable while in circulation. We call this free testosterone. Free testosterone is ready to bind to the androgen receptors in your body where it can perform its biological functions. These androgen receptors are found throughout your entire body, and the effect that your free testosterone will have will depend on where in the body it binds to an androgen receptor. For example, when testosterone binds to an androgen receptor within muscle cells, it stimulates muscle protein synthesis, which obviously helps you maintain and build more muscle. You also have androgen receptors that testosterone can bind to that are more related to sexual performance. Now, not all the testosterone in your body is free testosterone. Only about 2% of the testosterone in your body fits that description. The other 98% is bound to either sex hormone binding globulin or albumin. This is collectively known as bound testosterone. When testosterone is bound, it can't bind to androgen receptors. So as strange as it sounds, this testosterone can no longer perform many of the physiological functions of testosterone, such as increasing muscle protein synthesis, supporting erectile health and libido, and benefiting your overall mood. When more free testosterone is able to bind to muscle androgen receptors, it creates powerful conditions for muscle growth. In the New England Journal of Medicine, there was a study published that found that giving men 600 milligrams of testosterone each week without performing any resistance training caused them to gain seven pounds of muscle. Meanwhile, another group of men that was doing the progressive resistance training without any steroid use only gained about four pounds of muscle. On top of that, the group that both lifted weights and took steroids gained a whopping 13 pounds of muscle. All of these results were in the same time frame, clearly demonstrating the powerful muscle boosting effects of increasing your body's testosterone levels. But that's not the only thing that testosterone does inside your body. It also has a significant impact on fat burning and weight loss. Research links low testosterone to increase body fat, while higher testosterone levels help you get and stay lean. This was confirmed in a very interesting randomized double-blind study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism. In this study, researchers blocked the natural testosterone production in a group of young, healthy men with something known as a gonadotropin-releasing hormone agonist. This means they blocked the release of follicle stimulating hormone and the release of luteinizing hormone which again are both needed to stimulate testosterone production from there the researchers divided these men that could no longer properly produce testosterone into separate groups and they treated each of them with one of five doses of testosterone enanothate each week these doses were 25 50 125 300 or 600 milligrams as you can see, there was a tight link between testosterone and changes in body fat levels after 20 weeks. The low testosterone group experienced fat gain, especially around their waists, while the high testosterone group shredded their body fat. How exactly testosterone decreases body fat isn't fully understood yet, but it likely has something to do with the fact that testosterone increases metabolic rate and enhances fat burning. Testosterone is also linked to an increase in the number of red blood cells in the body. Red blood cells are vitally important because they carry oxygen from the lungs to the rest of your body. The fact that testosterone increases red blood cell count is shown by many studies. In one study, for example, castrated mice were administered doses of testosterone and as a result, they experienced an increase in total circulating red blood cell mass and total circulating red blood cell count. Aside from these physiological effects, testosterone also has psychological effects in the body. One of the most frequently mentioned ones is that testosterone increases aggression and makes you angry. The data, however, doesn't back that up. Contrary to popular belief, testosterone doesn't necessarily increase aggression or anger. This was shown by a study where scientists looked at what would happen when they placed low T men on testosterone replacement therapy. And they actually found out that testosterone replacement therapy led to significant decreases in anger, irritability, sadness, tiredness, and nervousness. In addition, testosterone replacement therapy also led to significant improvements in energy levels, friendliness, and the sense of overall well-being. With all that said, it is true that higher testosterone does increase a man's desire to seek social dominance, and that might cause aggression in some scenarios indirectly, but it doesn't increase anger and aggression directly, especially if it's not abused. 
Of course, due to the effects that testosterone has on the mind and the body, many bodybuilders are motivated to take anabolic steroids. When you inject testosterone into your body in the amounts bodybuilders do, it can very easily stop all the natural testosterone production in your body because it's not needed anymore. Some of the side effects associated with your natural testosterone production shutting down is infertility and atrophy of the testes. Some of these effects are reversible by getting off of the steroids, but long-term anabolic steroid use can even lead to complete cell death in the testes, which can impact fertility even if that person decides to stop taking the steroids. On top of that, steroid use can also have other downsides to a man's health and well-being, including becoming addicted and dependent on the steroids. Steroids will also speed up the aging process in the body and can lead to accelerated hair loss. The reason it can cause hair loss is because, again, 10% of the elevated testosterone in the body will get converted into DHT, which unfortunately also plays a significant role in male hair loss. Another common side effect of significantly elevating testosterone levels with steroid use is gynecomastia, also known as man boobs. Like I mentioned earlier, a portion of your testosterone will get converted into estrogen, which can stimulate the formation of breast tissue even in men. So testosterone has both beneficial effects and when present at excessively high levels, potentially adverse effects. But it's clear that this is a crucial hormone for your body composition, your health, and your overall well-being. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, if you'd like to set up a customized plan that allows you to burn fat and build muscle in the shortest time frame possible, then visit my website and try my six week shred. You're gonna get a customized diet plan based on your preferences and your body, a recipe book with over 42 delicious recipes, a full video exercise library, and a coach to guide you through your workout program and answer any questions that might come up. Best of all, we motivate you to actually follow through by offering you a full refund for simply putting your best foot forward and completing the program. So it's free for those of you that actually participate and try. Please feel free to go through our thousands of five-star reviews where our clients are typically dropping 20 pounds or 5% of their body fat in only six weeks. And those looking to put on muscle mass are gaining over 15 pounds of muscle, including water weight in 12 weeks. To find out more, you can click the link in the description below or head on over to my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.